defense I've seen in a minute. Like, this is some hype stuff. Uh, and if y'all don't think Bayonetta Piranha Plant's hype, bro, what, name me one other time you've seen this. I can't name one. This game's been out forever. This, this, I, I, I can't name one. This is an uncommon matchup, to say the least. This is. Here we go. We are jumping right into it. Game one between Geist and Lucky. And the Piranha Plant able to get the first damage. So Lucky able to take early lead here. All right. And the lead is starting to become more and more convincing here as guys is able to avoid. Oh, oh, never mind. There goes the dash attack from Lucky. And it looks like Lucky got this matchup down pat. So maybe he's gone against Bayonetta a lot more than uh, guys has gone against Piranha. Uh, I guess we'll see. But yeah. so far, very early lead. That back air is going to take the stock. Maybe not a super light. Uh, so Piranha Plant, he don't do no light hits. This is a lot of damage right here. Big Patui combo right there. I love Patui as a combo finisher. Super interesting. We got a ledge trap situation right now. Tossing the poison gas off and just opting to hold stage control. And just a huge lead at 92% already on that second stock. Guys is going to have to figure something out and fast. Otherwise, he will lose this game. All right, opted to uh, try and witch time off there, but gets reversal, man. That's 36% only on Lucky. We're climbing it up now, but man, Lucky just off to a uh, off to a quick start. And both of these two are uh, some Midwest hitters. Love to see Midwest talent this late in a bracket this yeah. stacked. Yeah, with a bracket this stacked, they're both looking pretty good. But it looks like so far, Lucky's looking just a little bit better in this matchup here so far. There goes the poison. There, we saw Witch Time right there, but Lucky mm. staying far enough away that it didn't matter. Uh, grabs in a down throw, bro. Grabbing Bayonetta is not an easy feat, bro. She be moving. All right, and there goes the pressure to keep Bayonetta off stage. But there goes the up smash. That is going to take it where you see Lucky going into game two with all three of his stocks remaining from game one. That is, that was quick. Yeah, yo, get out of here, Mario. This is the pea plant show, baby. Yes, sir. And that's going to, that's 1-0. That was a quick game. It was about a minute and a half right there. Swapping to small battlefield, uh, again, a little bit shorter of a stage from left to right. So, uh, you know, let's see if it's a little bit easier to chase down Lucky here. All right, so let's see. We got the character selection screen here. I doubt we see any change with any of them. We're going into game two with the same characters. And we are going to, uh, what was that, small battlefield? Yep, you will be up. All right, so here we go. We're going into game two where we have Geist and Lucky. We're Lucky up 1-0 into this game so far. All right, so let's see. We have game two on deck so far. Here goes Bayonetta going up for the Witch. Not able to do much off of it. Up, there goes the down tilt, and there goes the uh, forward air. Up, let's see what happens here. All right, already starting off to a much better uh, pace than game one it started. Yeah, so we take better. those. Way better so far for it, guys. Up, there goes the poison. And there goes the up. He is close this time, but not able to get the punish that time is guys. Yeah, it gets a little bit of a back air, but uh, if you're Bayonetta, definitely want more right there. But we got a let trap situation. We got lots of stage control. Uh, Piranha Plant going to roll right into the Bayonetta up tilt. All right, we got guys sort of sharking out. Bayonetta want, mains want one thing, and it's disgusting. This is back air at ledge, uh, a move that kills very, very well. They want back air at ledge, and they want witch watch. <laughs> All right. Big down throw again. Uh, Lucky just finding a lot of good grabs. Oh, uh, there goes that back air. Yo, pea plant thick. What's in that pot, bro? That dirt is two-ton dirt right there. Bayonetta might be a little thick, too. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> 152% on Lucky right now. If he could find an early stock, this is going to be an absolute game changer. Yeah, it is going to be a game changer. Just look at the caution that both of these players are playing with. Very low committal, not wanting to give up anything right now. And right, we see Bayonetta <gasps> taking the gun from her stilettos, not able to do much there, is off stage, able to get right back on. Tried to go for the up tilt, but instead got the back air and got Lucky off stage again. All right, but Lucky is able to get back on stage. And now the roles have been reversed temporarily. There goes the throw. What are we going to do? We're going to see the down throw. All right, let's see what you can do for the edge guard. Up, able to get back on stage. His guys able to also get back on stage is Lucky. Yep, stage control is all Lucky's right now. All right, so far. This, is, this might pose to be difficult. Big grab. Uh, up throw is going to kill pretty early. 
Yeah. There we go. There it is. That was like 115 when got grabbed. Uh, an extra pummel or two. Going to put on a little extra percent. Yeah. Uh, and pretty dangerous. Geist has to find the stock and, and fast. Ooh, is it jab? <gasps> oh. Falls out of the jab combo. That is not what you want to see. Down throw forward air. Uh, one of Piranha Plant's few combos right here. <laughs> You sort of got to make stuff up on the fly with this character. <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of stuff flows together completely. No, There's no. a lot of stuff that's definitely close enough that uh, can make it work, you know? Yeah, absolutely, man. There's not much you can do with combos when it comes to a Piranha Plant. You have to be precise and patient mm -hmm. and watch your uh, opponent. If they're off stage, you work on your edge guard because you have so many options when you're out there. Yep. I really like the uh, down air that Lucky got into sort of trying to read the option. Didn't play out, but that's okay. Uh, as long as you're not giving up your stock right now, it, it's good by me. All right, and so far, where it looked like Geist was off to a much better start than the first game, Lucky is able to make the comeback here and has a lead here, and it's pretty commanding. But not before that back air. We are now at two stocks apiece here, but still a pretty commanding lead because Bayonetta is light. Uh, it only takes a few more moves for Lucky to go in. There goes the witch time, not able to do anything there, and now just trying to control the stage. Yep. And it, guys could find a big Bayonetta combo right here and even this game up pretty quick. But I just feel like Geist has had a hard time sort of breaking the defense of Lucky right here. Uh, whiffs an up smash that <laughs> might have killed. Piranha Plant up smash ain't no joke. No, no joke at all. Especially if you're a character that's light. All right, so hold on. Able to get him off stage so far. Geist is trying to do something with it. Trying to figure out what to do with it, but just standing and waiting for him to get back onto the stage there. All right. Patui at ledge right here, trying to read the uh, the get up. Uh, guy's picking a great option right there. Sort of sharking underneath the platform, trying to find these aerial, uh, uh, these afterburner kicks right here. But man, it's it's tough, because how are you gonna aerial side B with Bayonetta if Patui's sitting out there? You're gonna get hit. Uh, big down B, we haven't seen a lot of down Bs from Lucky, but again, I'm pretty sure that move's probably pretty easy to witch time. Uh, you have a lot of time to react to it. All right, so here we go. See what's happening right now. You look at <gasps> oh, he dropped oh, the combo oh, and died for it. That is man. not what you want. Went for the witch boss, not able to get anything off of it because Lucky able to take that stock. We're at one stock left here for guys in game two. All right, big combo right there. Uh, but still, we saw that guys didn't take that stock until mad late first uh, first stock of the game right here, <gasps> and we lost it. We can't see anything. I'm looking oh, at nope, stream. We're oh, back. we're back. We're back. We're back. <laughs> All right, there goes the waste time. Oh, there goes okay. another waste time. There goes the down air, but not able to kill him, but is able to get him off stage and to the other side. Able Great to tech. get the beautiful tech there. Oh, are we going to get it back there? We're not going to get the back there. Lucky trying to seal this game out quick right here. Uh, guy staying alive, 153. A lot of stuff's going to start killing right now. Uh, you got to be really careful not to get hit by anything. Fair one doesn't get anything off of it. Lucky is just doing a very good job of swinging back when guys just sort of dropping combos or trying to go for these like resets. All right, here you go. So at 187%, uh, he has rage as well. So this is a very dangerous spot if you're guys. You want to take this stock before he gets another up throw or up smash. All right, trying just to get back, back on stage, dancing back and forth. <laughs> But Lucky is able to get back on stage. Here comes the, oh, I thought we were going to see the forward throw, but we see a down throw instead. And Lucky is able to potentially get back on stage. Up oh, there he is. Yep, he is back on stage, but Bayonetta still has control. Got the forward throw that time and was able to take the stock. We're at one stock apiece here for both of our players here. Yep, and 89% on Geist. Uh, Bayonetta, again, I can't stress this enough, pretty light character. Lucky hits like a truck. Prana Plant hits like a truck. Uh, combo right there, not quite going to get anything. Retreating to the platform just to sort of reset the situation. Uh, trying to find a combo starter or something, but it's just so hard to break Lucky. <gasps> oh, ended up witch timing on that, but a great roll from Lucky. Going to give him a tangibility for the majority of that witch time right there. Uh, gets heel slid off of the ledge right there. All right, so here we go. We are back on stage. Both of them trying to get control. Looks like Lucky has the advantage on stage right now. Bayonetta trying to get in, not able to get in, and instead back off stage. But there goes the witch time, but the witch time was cut short. There goes the play to miss. Trying to go for the witch watch, not able to get anything off of that. Back over to the right side of the stage, and now back over to the left. And here goes. All right, so it looks like Lucky has complete control of the stage right now. Yeah, yeah, it's just looking mad difficult. And that Patui, uh, Ain't even got a doubt in my mind that that's about to kill. That is a incredibly strong move. And up 2-0. Now, I feel like Geist has good moments. 
but I feel like, you know, I said it once, I said it a million times, uh, it's, he's just not really breaking through the defense of Lucky. It feels like he's getting his hits, uh, and then they're sort of resetting, and Lucky's coming out on top of the majority of these interactions, unfortunately. Yep. Now we're down to one potential game left here for guys. Because we're on a plan. Now you got the tag, don't give up. But uh, if you're uh, if you're lucky, you definitely want uh, guys to give up. Because you are one game away from moving on. And Ice is a game away from being done. And I believe finishing 17th? Yeah. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yep, yep, yep. So. Which... Uh, Loaf going home at 17th right now. So uh, Lucky trying to keep the bloodline alive here, trying to catch a dub for the homies, yeah. for the fam. Yeah, got to do it for the family. Lucky is still available and left. And so far, it looks like he's just one game away from keeping that stock alive, or keeping that hope alive. But one of them, all right, able to get the forward throw that time. Oh, wait, what's going on down there? Oh, they're both able to get back up. It looked like Lucky was going for blood, right? Yeah, that was, he did. That was wild. That was close. All right, so here we go. Able to get off stage here. Let's see if guys are able to save to get back on. Uh, the Patui is not going to land that time, but there goes the tilt instead. Tried to go for the up smash, not able to get it. Up, oh, but there goes the up tilt, the up airs. All right, and there goes the up throw. One more of those on the platform should probably do it uh, at a high percentage which Bayonetta is at 90% here, but she is able to throw him off stage temporarily. Oh, and going to the other side of the mm. stage, mixing it up, just really not trying to play with uh, Bayonetta when Lucky's in disadvantage right there, which I think is pretty smart. Uh, Landon with a forward air right now, goes for a crazy grab, and Lucky's kind of chasing down, which is a little bit different than we saw in uh, the earlier games right here. <gasps> Great spot dodge to get through the witch, or the witch time again. I feel like... Uh, Lucky's been hit with Witch Time a couple times, but just having a very good answer for it and just sort of minimizing the damage that's coming out of it. Yeah, not able to get much off of those Witch Times is guys, but is able to get Lucky off stage so far. Now they're both able to get back on stage, and there goes the Witch Box, not able to do much there. Um, but guys, is able to get back. Oh, that's going to be, oh, not, not quite. That was going to go for the up throw. Maybe he didn't think that that was ready yet, but one more up throw for sure should be able to take the stack. All right, and Guy's doing everything to take the stock first right here. Looking in an incredibly good position right now to take this stock one. She got Bullion and those Stilettos. Yep. She's got that back air, and that back air is going to take the stock, and that's going to be a lead here for Guy's, which we don't see too often. Oh, and right back. This is a tied-up game. Two stocks apiece. Not a percent on either player right now. Uh, I couldn't ask for anything better out of game three. Yeah, this is a very interesting game for you. We have Guy's fighting for his life here. Around the plants, trying to make sure that he keeps them out and keeps them away from winning another game because the momentum is tricky. So it's all uh, luck. Guys is able to get another, uh, get a win, and who knows? Yeah, and it, I just really like the way that Geist has been playing this game specifically uh, as opposed to the others. Uh, looking very good, but like you said, hold up, wait a minute. Y'all talking about Geist a little too well right here. Uh, tries to answer back with a combo, but Geist just stealing it back. And they're just scrapping back and forth. Nobody's really found a good footing in game three right now. They're just sort of going back and forth in uh, true Smash Bros. fashion. And that's good for guys who's starting off better than he did game one for sure. And it looks like he may have figured something out because now this is a lot more even than it was originally here. Lucky was able to still take game two. There goes the Katui, but got the wish time and wasn't able to do anything because mm -hmm. it went away so fast. Yeah, also Lucky was just sort of far away, probably at the pretty far on the edge. Uh, of that witch time right there made it pretty hard to follow up on. Uh, but 71% yeah. of Piranha Plant ain't that much. He's not that heavy. But we got a big combo right here. What we got? Send him to 93, but 106 on Bayonetta right now. A lot of stuff's looking to kill right here. All right, got the Batui ready to lock and load in any time here. If you have Geist is trying to get in. Geist is able to get in. Oh, and there goes the back air from, Ooh. whoa, all the way from the other side of the stage. Lucky able to get the back air and take the stop from Geist. And this is Geist's potential last game. Ooh, big witch time right there. Oh. Great tech in the witch time. I can't oh, wait, tech that. The, oh, and lives. What's going on right now? Mm. Ooh, gets ledge back, luckily. 
Alright, going for a big combo. Traps on the platform. Lucky really starting to find momentum in this game three, uh, which I feel like the first, like, you know, bit of momentum that a player has had so far. Uh, but Guy's Dancer in back does not care about that. Uh, whips on the air dodge right there, but still got a ledge trap against Piranha Plant. Let's see what we got. Oh, I feel like sort of read the roll, but I don't know, maybe misspaced it. Thought it was a little bit longer. I'm not sure what happened there. Whiffs the witch time right there. Lucky, great patience. Right, and so far at 161%, it won't take much to get him done. But Lucky is trying to take all oh, there goes the back air. Uh, so that is going to be one stock left. But Dice is at 82, now 93%, and now 108. So it's not going to take much for Lucky to just go in and attack. Anything at the ledge could be it for guys because Bayonetta is a light character. There goes the up tilt, there goes the strings, going for the forward air. Uh oh, what's going on with Ooh. the wish? What's going on with the wish watch? Ooh. Oh! I cannot believe that that killed right there. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for hanging with me. Hero Hom's going to take you through the rest of the set. I got to swap off. Thanks for rolling with me, and good luck to both these players. All right. Well, it was nice work with you, man. But, yeah, so uh, Lucky was able to win the first two, but Guy's able to get that Witch Watch towards the very end there, take him over to the Blast Zone to the far left side, and that is going to do it for that game, and we are going to a game four. So let's see if we're going to have a character. Uh, we're not going to have a different character swap, but let's see if we're going to have a stage swap. Looks like they're thinking about it. And guys, so far, this has been a pretty interesting matchup. It looked like it was going to be 3-0 for Lucky, but guys able to make the comeback towards the very end there. Let's see, uh, as we wait, if I can get you guys a bracket update if you guys are watching on this particular stream here. Let's see if we can get something going on an update. So we have Cosmos and JJJ -Jock, Jock going on all I think that one just finished. And then we have Icy Mist and Riddle. So Icy Mist was able to beat Black Twins. And Wilds and Candles waiting. The winner of that will face Beast Mode Paul and Losers. But here we go. We have game four ready here. Here comes Lucky. Here comes Geist. All right, so far, both of them just trying to win the neutral so far. And it looks like now Lucky's at a pretty good spot towards the middle here. But there goes the Witch Watch. Bayonetta able to. All right, so here we go. Oh, we might be getting somebody else jumping on stream here. But as we get that, oh, so close. That Witch Watch almost, oh, guys went way too far in, and that's going to be it. That's going to take the first stock. Hey, what's up, huh? Hey, what's going on? It's Maximus Moose. back on the mic. We got some, uh, we got Lucky and Geist. Okay, so a Midwest matchup. This is a Midwest matchup, and so far, uh, Lucky was able to win the first two, but Geist was able to take that third one. So, uh, but Geist went a little too far there and lost his stock. So now we're at two stocks of three. Yeah, Geist. Geist been putting on a lot of work. One of the best players coming out of Ohio, and Lucky obviously knows. Everybody knows Lucky and Loaf, two uh, incredible players out of Minnesota. A couple yeah. twin magic in their own right, but yeah, we're yeah. already seeing like the piranha. Like I've heard overheard word from I want to say it was Loaf about this matchup and how it's like. It's very, it's very favored in one, one of these ways, but because nobody sees Piranha Plant that often, it's a toss-up on who's uh, who's really favored here. I want to say it is Piranha Plant because we do see Lucky up two games to one. I said Bayonetta, but I mean Lucky is making me change my mind here. Uh, but guys did make the comeback in game three. And if guys can make a comeback here in game four as well, then maybe I can sway my mind to say that Bayonetta wins this matchup again. But already you're seeing down there through the platform land something that. With these thinner platforms on like things like uh, PS2 and uh, Small Battlefield, you're going to see us up there. Oh, here's a pickup. Needs to make it the most of it. A couple of witch twists into another Nair. Or back here. That's going to be the money maker for uh, Geist as the set goes on. But you've got to be careful you don't get lucky at too high percent, but then your back air setups just don't work anymore. All right, there we go. Able to get back on stage is Geist. Oh, there goes Ooh, the back air. Yep. That's going to take it. And we have one stock left for Geist here. Geist is going to look to take the stock right back, able to get the bullets flying, but 
Lucky able to get back on stage. There goes the witch time. Oh yeah, that's a free witch time for guys. It's just, that's all active hitboxes the entire time. You can just press the button, jump into it, and then activate it, so. But okay, yeah, we're starting to see that. The back air, but wow, that is, it was to show you how heavy and dense the pot that uh, Brana plants in. That thing makes him heavy. One of the most surprisingly heavy characters in the game. Yeah, absolutely. You look at him and he doesn't look that heavy, but man, that, that pot. It's got some weight to it. <laughs> it's got it's some like, weight some to it. It's that thick. Is, there's some densely packed soil in there. Yeah, absolutely. Still at 210 percent. My goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, yep. Oh, that's that's, that's, yeah, that's got to be it. So, guys, still one stock away from forcing the game five. Lucky trying to make uh, show uh, you know. So the Piranha Plant is not just you know day one DLC that can be forgotten. But this is a real character that's in the game and you can play. Yeah, this was Smash 4 DLC, and she was broken in Smash 4 if you listen to some people. Ooh. Oh, got the wrist time, but not able to do much with it there. It looks like Lucky was made and a little bit too far for uh, guys to make the punish there. Lucky, one of the people, that, uh, one of the Prime Plants, well known for using Spike Ball, just as a, like Patui, as a get out of jail free card, just activate it, and then it'll still drop and have an active hitbox if, you're, if uh, the opponent tries to knock it knock it away from you, but sending it towards Geist is just giving more witches, oh, but oh my gosh, catching it. Ob smash, and that's going to be it for Geist's run here. Geist is going to finish 17th here at Diamond Dust, and Lucky's going to move on. Yeah, into a top eight qualifier. Yep. Now Lucky needs a little bit of a breather. Needs to go get some water. Yep, I needed it. We needed water over here as well. Yeah. We got that water, so we appreciate uh, the people working here giving us that water that we needed. Uh, so let's see. 